Japanese style ceviche. Originating from South America, it consists of seafood such as crab, fish, shrimp, and many other shellfish. Influenced by Japanese flavors, this dish follows a traditional ceviche recipe. Our ingredients include a collection of finger limes. They can be found in specialty stores in the summer. Hokkaido scallops. These can be found in your Japanese or Korean supermarkets year-round in the frozen seafood aisle. This box retails for $39.99 for 3 pounds of flash frozen sashimi grade scallops. A look inside the box, you'll see they're ready for consumption. Just thaw. If you spot an orange colored scallop, make sure to save it for yourself. These are rich in flavor due to the roe being absorbed by the scallop instead of being discarded. Thaw scallops at room temperature. Do not force them to thaw in the sun or over any type of heat. This causes the natural juices to escape, making the scallops taste quality very poor. Alternatives such as Atlantic scallops can be used if scallops from Japan are not available in your area. The taste in Hokkaido scallops can be described as very rich, delicate, and sweet tasting. Atlantic scallops have a saltier, less sweet, and gentle chew. Alaskan king crab or snow crab can be found year-round from several online vendors. They should be boiled and rinsed in brine water to clean off any unwanted flavors. Skipping this step will create a brown and foaming textured ceviche that will taste very unpleasant. I like boiling my seafood with yuzu leaves. It gives them the aromatic citrus undertone. Incorporate microgreens in ceviche, cilantro, green onions, bull's blood radish, and wasabi leaves. Miyoga, a Japanese ginger flower bud. This is a great addition to ceviche adding in a subtle refreshing ginger heat. Shinto Kiwa Cucumber will add a refreshing crunch and the juices mixed with the citrus will create an amazing citrus marinade. Use shallots instead of red onions. This gives to feature the flavor profile of red onions without overpowering it with the trace of garlic essence. Shallots should be harvested when they're young. Mature shallots tend to be dry and fibrous. They should be cured for 1-2 to two weeks if storing them indoors is desired. Yuzu. A little bit goes a long way. Use a green and yellow variety. This provides an aromatic and citrus flavor in addition to the tart and fragrance you find in the yellow variety. Yuzu's flavor profile is extremely difficult to replicate. Use lemons and limes if yuzu isn't available. Slice shallots, do not chop. This will cause them to dissolve into the citrus marinade. Instead, slice it to maintain the texture and flavor. Cut scallops into miniature cubes to allow an even marinade.
Wear gloves when handling king crab. The spines puncturing skin is very painful. Use an oyster shucker or a butter knife to extract the crab meat. Gently pry open. This will make it easier to remove whole pieces. Position your thumb near the tip of the tool. This allows full control when prying open. Carefully shred the crab meat and remove any shells you discover. Make a small incision in the center of the finger line and snap it in half. This provides us a high yield when extracting. Depending on the variety, it may or may not contain seeds. Remove them to avoid unwanted surprises. Repeat the process and add additional varieties to create a harmony of flavors. There are over 22 varieties of finger limes, from green, pink, red, and even purple. All have different flavor profiles and pulp sizes. Harvest use you at the peak of their season, around late summer to early fall. This provides a variety from the color spectrum to choose from. Retain stems and leaves. This slows down the ripening process. Usually should not be wasted even after it's juiced. The rind can be used to make citron tea, and the zest can be made into yuzu kosho. The seeds can be discarded. Be prepared to wait for 10 to 14 years if you'd like to harvest fruit from the seeds. Gently massage and squeeze the mixture. This will initiate the marinade process. Use any bitter free and seedless cucumber. I like to use the Shinto Kiwa or Unagi when they're in season. Harvest vegetables early in the morning for the juiciest and sweetest tasting cucumbers. Lightly peel cucumbers. This will help release the flavors hidden within the skin and provide a crispy bite. Using a sharp knife not only makes preparation easier, it also makes everything taste much better by retaining the juices. Persian cucumbers can also be used in this recipe. Diced cucumbers do not need to be perfectly uniform. Uneven pieces create better texture. Gently fold and mix the contents and allow it to rest for a few minutes to soak in the juices. Always clean and sanitize area when preparing raw foods. This will prevent foodborne illnesses. Arrange ingredients in a manner that allows for easy access to plate. Use ceramic tableware when preparing chilled foods.
This helps it stay cool much longer. Garnish and complement flavors by adding microgreens. And for the more adventurous crowd, who prefer mouth puckering flavors, add pre-extracted finger limbs. For an earthy and mild spice, add wasabi leaves or nasturtium microgreen leaves. Complement the dish with freshly sliced miyoga for a refreshing palate cleanser. Bring everything together with a sprinkle of seaweed salt infused with fresh garlic. I hope you can enjoy this dish as much as I do. If not, allow me to serve it to you personally. Thanks again for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more umami cooking and gardening videos.